What is up guys? My name is Creature Play and welcome to my newest player review video. I'd like to give a shout out to Killshot for helping me grab some of this footage. Today we're going to be reviewing the Golden Ticket 99 overall Adrian Peterson. 101 speed, 100 elusiveness, 102 truck, 101 juke move, 8 to long pass style, and 10 to speed run style. Some of his other stats in here, he has 74 catching. Also some of his other rushing stuff, he has 98 spin move and 100 stiff arm. As always, prices will change, but as of Monday, May 9th, he's going for about 1.3 on PS4 and surprisingly a little more at 1.38 on Xbox One. So as always, I like to start off with their inside runs, particularly a halfback dive. Um, he did absolutely great in the middle. He did everything that you'd want out of a running back when they run up the middle. He hit the holes perfectly. He didn't get caught up on anybody, and he fell forward almost every single time. Now, having said that, I need to cover my bases because I got a lot of crap from um, a couple people with my DRC review because he was a golden ticket and I didn't think he played that well. And I kind of feel the same way about him. But let me preface before anything. First of all, I always say that my reviews are strictly from my own experience. They're my own opinion. And just based on how I play, what I want out of a running back, etc. I am not the end all be all to reviews. Now, having said that, I used the positional hero, Adrian Peterson, and he played kind of identically to him. There was a difference in speed, I will absolutely say that, but other than that, I really didn't feel a difference between the golden ticket version and the 99 overall positional hero version. The golden ticket version absolutely did break tackles, but it was nowhere near as many as I was expecting. Certainly not as many as that boss LT. I don't know what it is. And to be honest, I really feel like the positional hero AP broke more tackles than the golden ticket version also. I don't know if, I mean, I, I played, I think, about six test games that we were getting footage with, and then I played about three of my own head-to-head -head games just to give him another chance, and he was the same. He didn't break as many tackles as either the positional hero or the LT, at least from what I was feeling. Now, speed, like I said, there is absolutely a difference. I don't feel like he's as fast as that boss LT, especially on tosses was a great way that I could test it out. Now, he is not slow at all. I will definitely say that. He absolutely has the speed and the acceleration to get around the outside on tosses specifically, and he's just a fast guy in general. Now, I don't know if it's because he's six foot one or he just is bigger or because his agility or his acceleration are lower, but he didn't feel as quick off the jump as the boss LT was. You know, once he got up to his speed, he absolutely was just as fast as that LT, if not faster uh, during some plays. But getting right off the bat, you know, like it, for, for runs specifically, obviously, because that's what you're going to be doing with him all the time. LT feels faster. I don't know if it's because he's smaller or what. I don't know. Now, I hardly ever, if at all, stiff arm, but he has that 100 stiff arm stat. So I grabbed some clips. He got all three of the different stiff arm animations I've seen in the game. And stiff arming also increased the chance of him tackle breaking. When I say that he didn't break as many tackles as LT and stuff, I'm referring specifically to just on their own without having to juke or stiff arm or whatever. He didn't break as many tackles as LT does just by his, by, on his own. LT just breaks tackles constantly without me having to do anything if you stiff farmed it definitely increased his chances of breaking tackles and i'm talking about ap there screen passes are the same as majority of a lot of other running backs once he is able to get that mass up and moving and he has that acceleration behind him he just breaks a lot of tackles he broke more tackles on screen passes than anything else that he did and he also uh you know has a really super nice double juke it was very very clean um i will say it is definitely noticeable uh, an upgrade between him and the positional hero version but compared to the boss lt maybe it's because lt is just so small lt is definitely felt cleaner and less choppier now receiving he's obviously not going to be near as good as like a boss LT or uh, Falk etc he did decent he actually did above my expectations at catching in traffic um, you're not gonna be able to send him out on any crazy routes or anything obviously but pretty much anything I'd say 20 yards and under he's he's good at catching um, like I said he exceeded my expectations uh, when he got hit immediately but I wouldn't send him out on any routes or verticals so speed I'm gonna give him a 9 out of 10. Uh, he's definitely fast once he actually gets up to his top speed, but the acceleration on the boss LT is just so much quicker and it makes him feel so much faster. Agility, awesome. He was great, you know, flowing in and out of the holes. He had great vision. Um, he flowed very smoothly. His juking was 
ridiculously nice also, especially for how big he is considering. Uh, Double Juke was very nice. Tackle breaking, I have to give him like a, a, an eight, and I don't know what it is. You know, he just didn't break as many tackles as the boss LT or even the positional hero version of this card, the 99 overall positional hero. I was expecting more, I just didn't get more. If you stiff farm though, it definitely increased his chances. Receiving, um, obviously you can't send him out on crazy routes or verts that are deep or anything, but anything like 20 and under, he was awesome at. He even caught some in traffic, which I wasn't expecting. And carrying, he didn't fumble one ball out of any of the test or head-to-head -head games that I played with him. So overall, I mean, he's not a bad card. Obviously, he's not a bad card. He is very fast. Um, his acceleration wasn't as fast as I'd have liked, especially compared to Boss LT or even his positional here. I just didn't, f the, the top speed was the difference between the two Adrian Peterson cards. That's where I felt the most difference. Um, breaking tackles, I really don't understand. Um, I, I, I don't know what to say for that part. Is he worth the 1.4 that he goes for? It's up to you and your style, as always with all of these reviews. I personally still will take um, Boss LT for his speed. He definitely broke more tackles, and he's more versatile. But anything beyond that is going to be up to you. So, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Take care.